Here's a valuable lesson that we can learn from God's use of both Queen Esther as well as Mordecai. The book, of course, is named after Esther. She's a central character, but she's not the only central character. Mordecai is as well. In fact, could have been called the book of Mordecai as much as the book of Esther. Esther is the one who's kind of center stage. She's the queen. She's the one who goes before the king in order to plead for the life of her people. She risks her own life for the sake of the, the Jewish people. And yet, why does she do that? She does that because Mordecai urged her to do that. He told her to do that. He encouraged and counseled her to do this. So who was more important, Mordecai or Esther? Wrong question. God was using Queen Esther. God was using Mordecai. God was using, in fact, all of the people who were praying and fasting for Esther. God was using all of these people in their various vocations, some in a major prominent sort of way, some in kind of a behind the scenes, seemingly minor sort of way, in order to bring about the rescue of his people. And it's no different today. Some people are more kind of upfront and prominent. Some people are more behind the scenes and not as prominent. Who's more important? Wrong question. God is using all of us in various ways, in various vocations in his kingdom in order to bring about the accomplishing of his good and gracious will.